Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to use the link clips function in DaVinci Resolve. Inside my edits window, on my current project timeline, I have a single media file comprising of both video and audio content, which lasts for 10 seconds. Using the selection mode tool, which I can also choose by pressing A, I can select this media file in either the video or audio tracks, and drag this horizontally to later or earlier stages of the timeline, and also vertically to different video and audio tracks, with both the video and audio content always parallel with each other. If I go to select the linked selection icon, which I can also choose by holding in control and pressing shift and L, use command instead of control if you are a Mac user, and deselect the media file by clicking on a blank space on my timeline. Now going to click on either the video or audio track of the same file. In this case here, I've clicked on the video track and only this is selected. And the position on the timeline of this particular segment of my media file can be altered, whilst the audio segment remains in the original position. If I now select link selection once again, deselect the video track, and select either part of my media file. Both video and audio segments are highlighted and can be moved simultaneously once again. If, however, I were to deselect this media file and deactivate the linked selection function and go to the blade edit mode, which I can also do by pressing B, I will now click on two sections of the video track to make trims. Now if I go to activate the linked selection function once again, go to selection mode, and select any part of my media file, only the section which I click on is selected, and the rest of the media file is not highlighted. The same occurs with the later section of the video track. And when clicking on the first part of the video track, the audio is selected, but over half of the video track is missing from this selection. What we can do here to select the remaining video segments is to hold in Control or Command and select these particular edits on the timeline also. So that now the whole media file is highlighted. But how can we relink these edits to make up one whole media file on the timeline once again so that we don't have to use the Control or Command option? With all of the edits on your timeline selected which make up your media file, Go to Clip and choose Link Clips. This can also be selected by holding in Control and pressing Alt and L. Use Option instead of Alt if you are a Mac user. Now if I deselect these highlighted clips and click on one of the four edits once again, such as the audio, now the whole media file is connected together once again. And the Linked Clips option should appear ticked in the menu bar. To disconnect media edits, ensure that the relevant edits are highlighted on your timeline and select the link clips option once again. Note how the linked selection icon has disappeared from the bottom left of each of the edits. When accessing the clip menu with the same highlighted edits, the link clips option should appear unticked. This option can also be used even when the linked selection function is deactivated. If I highlight these four separate edits once again, and choose the Linked Clips option, even though these individual edits can be separated from one another on the timeline once again, once Linked Selection is activated once again, and I deselect the selected individual edit, and left-click on any of the four edits that I applied the Linked Clips function to, all four pieces are highlighted in one click. The Linked Clips option can also be applied to two separate media files on your timeline. If I hold in Control here and select both the media files on my timeline, and press Control, Alt and L once again, both media files maintain a connection when being shifted around on the timeline. Note how the spacing in between the two media clips remains consistent as these are moved. To identify linked clips on a timeline, Identify the linked selection icon, which appears in the bottom left corner of the video and audio edits. 
select one of these edits and identify what other edits are highlighted at the same time with a red outline. In this case here, we can see that the video on video track two is not highlighted and is therefore not linked to any of the content in video track one or audio track one. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.